Let's talk briefly about ways to integrate information sources into your actual writing. Now I'm not talking about the specifics of a citation style. Here I'm talking about writing techniques to smoothly integrate information sources into your own writing so that it both successfully supports your own arguments and ideas and it doesn't appear as a mis mishmash of block quotes and other quotes thrown together with a couple sentences in between. Now one of the uh, things that undergraduates are accused of sometimes, and I don't mean this in such a negative way, but an over-reliance on quotations. Now certainly putting a block quote or a small quote of text from a source material into your writing is, is one effective way of integrating a resource into your paper. But there is also a, a, a mechanism called a signal phrase that you can use to introduce your reader to a quotation or using other the other two forms of in integration that I'm going to be talking about in a minute uh, of paraphrasing and summarizing. But in this instance, we're going to be talking about a block quote. So in this sentence here, it says, Guarashi and Jovchelovich, 2004, used their experience in the favelas of Brazil to suggest that change in unequal conditions, and that part so far is in the writer's own words, and then that that's, so that is the signal phrase right here, and that introduces our block quote right here. And the same thing could be used for a, a, a sentence size quote that isn't a block quote as well. So you mention the name of the author and often um, the, the year in the actual sentence itself rather than just at the end of the sentence. Now certainly in some quotes you can put all that information in the in-text citation, which is your the stuff at the end of the sentence or the paragraph that includes the author, the page number, and the year, if we're talking about the APA style, which is used here. Um, but if you include it in the actual sentence itself, you don't have to include all that information in the paragraph below. You just include the, the page number in this case. So that is the signal phrase and the block quotation. But let's talk about another effective way to integrate information into your paper and that's to use what's called a paraphrase. Now in this instance you're not going to be um, using a quote but you will be using a specific piece of information from a specific page or set of pages within a source. But you relay that information to your readers in your own words. So in this case, in this example, right here, I have two of the medications, flenfluramine and dexflenfluramine, were withdrawn from the market because of severe side effects. And then it includes the, the, uh, the in-text citation, the name of the author, the year, and the page number. Now certainly this could be also rewritten at, to say Yanofsky and Yanofsky. Um, indicate that two of the medications were withdrawn from the market because of and then you just include the page number. So there's two ways to sort of integrate that into your writing whether regardless of whether you're using a quotation or a paraphrase. You can use the signal phrase or you can just include all that information in the citation itself. So I would advise mixing that up using some quotations, using some paraphrasing and then mixing it up with the use of signal phrases as well. So that is putting it in your own words and changing it completely so that it flows with your own writing rather than just plopping down a quotation. Now there is also the, the a, a summarizing phrase and that is if you want to just sort of summarize the a complete article or book and just like mention its conclusions and this is often used for example in a literature review you're just sort of making a summary in your own words of what the article or book said and using that in um, in your own words and in your own writing so in this case you don't put down a specific page number because your summary and again it has to be in your own words um, just references the entire work. So in this case, as research, researchers have postulated that self-care behaviors are the strongest predictors and indicators for why individuals seek care, not lack of disease knowledge. And then it lists the, the authors and, the, and just the years. And again, you could, if it was a single citation, you could say Harvey and Lawson, 2009, have postulated that self-care, etc., etc. So it depends if you have multiple resources and whether you want to use that signal phrase or not. 
Okay, so those are in very brief form uh, three ways to effectively integrate information from other sources into your own writing. That's it.